in this lesson we are going to learn about electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves do not require a material medium they can travel through vacuum right maxwell showed that the speed of an electromagnetic wave in vacuum is given by c equal to 1 by root over mu naught epsilon naught mu naught is permeability of free space and epsilon naught is permittivity of free space right free space means vacuum electromagnetic waves are produced by oscillating charges a charge at rest will produce an electric field a charge moving with uniform velocity will produce electric field and magnetic field and an accelerated charge will produce electric field magnetic field and electromagnetic waves so basic source of all electromagnetic waves is an accelerated charge the first time electromagnetic waves were produced in the lab was by hertz in 1887 now in an electromagnetic wave we have got electric field oscillations perpendicular to that we have got magnetic field oscillations and the electromagnetic wave propagates perpendicular to these two oscillations if the electric field oscillations along the y axis so this is e vector the magnetic field oscillations are along the z axis say so this is our b vector then the electromagnetic wave will propagate in this direction all three are mutually perpendicular remember that the electromagnetic wave contains different kind of rays right the electromagnetic spectrum is quite big in the middle we have got visible part which has got seven colors violet indigo blue green yellow orange red right there are seven colors of the rainbow violet color has got maximum frequency minimum wavelength red color has got maximum wavelength and minimum frequency as we go this side the frequency increases if the frequency increases the energy per photon will increase because energy is equal to hf and if the frequency increases wavelength decreases because c equal to f lambda so lambda becomes c by f so as we go towards violet the frequency increases the energy increases and the wavelength decreases more powerful than violet is ultraviolet ultraviolet rays come along with the sun's rays luckily most of them are absorbed by the ozone layer so they don't reach us otherwise they are harmful more powerful than ultraviolet rays are x rays x rays were discovered by conrad roentgen wilhelm conrad roentgen actually they do experiments on cathode tubes some photographic plates were there in stable when those photographic plates were developed he found pictures of his wife's bones hands bones had come on those photographic plates so how he was wondering how these pictures have come some unknown radiation must be there unknown is called x in algebra that's why i call them x rays more powerful than x rays are gamma rays which are producing radioactivity okay they are quite harmful to us okay they are the most powerful electromagnetic radiation if you go this side after red we get infrared infrared is felt as heat right one scientist wanted to find out which of this colors have got maximum temperature he put one thermometer here one here one here one here one here one here he had one extra thermometer so put it here 
And if all this temperature was more than all these, therefore some invisible radiation is there and that is felt as heat. After infrared we have got microwave that is also felt as heat, okay, it is also used for telecommunication. After microwave we have got radio waves, okay, which have got least frequency, least energy per photon and maximum wavelength. Now, this visible rays cannot pass through a wall, right? This wall is there, visible rays cannot pass through this big wall. But gamma rays can easily pass, radio waves also can pass. How is it possible that something with very large wavelength and something with very low wavelength is able to pass, but something with intermediate wavelength is not able to pass through this wall. How is this possible? Visible is not able to pass, gamma rays can pass, radio waves can pass. Okay, these waves are such that they get absorbed by the molecules of the wall, the visible rays. These they can pass through. Okay, these also can pass through. So, these are the, got the appropriate wavelength, frequency, energy so that they get absorbed by the molecules in the wall. How to understand this? You see, imagine an ant standing in front of an elephant. The ant cannot see the elephant because the elephant is too big. The elephant cannot see the ant because the ant is too small. But something intermediate can see both of them. Same way, this intermediate wavelengths are absorbed by the wall. The smaller ones and the bigger ones can easily pass through the wall. Think on this interesting thought.